Hi kids, John here. I want to talk about warming up. There's a lot of ways that people warm up. Some have long routines, some have no routines, some have the same thing they play every day, some people don't do the same thing every day. I think it's very important to determine what works for you. I do a process that's very um, kind of interesting. It's maybe zen, if you will, but I learned this concept of how to warm up and what I'm doing from Dr. Bobby Rodriguez uh, down in the Los Angeles area. The moment you wake up in the day, you don't jump out of bed and run down the street. That's not something that we do. We kind of stretch, we get a cup of coffee, you know, maybe read a little bit of something and eat a little bit of food. We wake up before we really start our day. That's the way I see it. So I'm gonna go through my warm up, and I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker than I maybe normally would. It depends upon how I feel. If it's Monday after a really long weekend of playing some hard books, I'm gonna take my time to break into what I wanna do. The first thing I do is I try to start a note. And for me, it's in, in this concept, it should be something from maybe, maybe G in the staff down to B below the staff Somewhere in that range, it would be a, a decent place. Some, some note that's really easy for you to start that you're really comfortable playing. Kind of maybe your best note in that register is what I would choose. Because what you want to do is make this note start as easy as possible. I'm going to air attack it. It may not even sound in my first attempt. Okay. I actually got sound. Sometimes I only get on my first attempt. So that tells me my chops are pretty relaxed, feeling probably pretty decent. If they didn't feel that good, I'd take more time and develop an actual tone to just barely speak out of the horn. Now that I've developed my first speaking tone, I'm going to warm that up. Because these are my first notes of the day, I'm going to take my time with them. Now I have a nice kind of full, relaxed sound. It's mezzo piano, it's relaxed. I've developed that B, it feels okay. I'm going to move in half steps down to low F sharp, but I don't play any notes long. This is not a long tone exercise. It's a wake up warm up. If the next note doesn't sound as full bodied and is as relaxed, you need to make it feel that way. We don't do that by forcing it. We do that by maybe thinking about dropping our jaw, opening up, How's our air working? There it is. I thought about opening up a little bit here to see if I can get it to warm up. Now that the B's working, I'm going to go down to the, the, the B flat. Now I'm going to go to the, the uh, A. Not bad. It's a little bit of a wavering in the tone there. So I'm going to revisit that note, make sure that everything's cool there. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to start kind of going down and coming back up. I still need to go down to, you know, F sharp. I'm going to make it all the way there. Go into A flat, but I'm going to go down, get a hold of that note, and then maybe come back up to the B. Because now that I'm waking up a little bit, I'm going to extend the amount of time that I'm actually buzzing my lips. I think that A-flat was pretty good. I'm going to check out my G. Not quite what I wanted. Not quite as full-bodied. 
Again, I'm thinking, oh, I think vocally, I think, oh, oh, how do I make it resonate if I was going to sing? And I think in those same ways about trumpet playing. See, now I'm free to move around a little bit. Things are vibrating. I'm not forcing any issues. I can flow in and out. Sometimes that's not happening. I have to go. And sit on that. So I feel like I got a pretty relaxed F sharp. I'll play with it a couple more times. Okay, that area feels good. That area feels relaxed. Now it's time to start going up. We take our time doing this as well. You should always have a target note you're ending on that's either the higher note or the lower note that you're working towards. You want to have that target note be where you're going to really land and everything leads to that musically, support wise, opening up or trying to get that note to really sound. You have to have a target note. <laughs> So I do little ideas as I go up and then I sometimes go back below the B that is my first note and find out, you know, as I ascend, what does it feel like? How do those notes feel? Sometimes I'll stay up there, sometimes I'll come back down and end on the B. It's all about how you feel. What's, what's it feel like? And in the amount of time that I'm speaking on this video, I am resting when I do this. The B didn't feel or sound the way everything else sounded before then. So I'm like, okay, that B needs to be addressed. So I take my time now to get there. something's a little bit off. I need to I need to look look at that a little bit more. There it is. Okay, I found it. Learning to hear and feel these differences will help you be in touch with the way your chops feel and what you may have to do to help them open up or feel more relaxed. Describing what I'm doing is almost impossible. I'm checking in on the way this feels and if it doesn't if this doesn't feel right, I'm going to check in here and make sure that I'm supporting the way I should. So, I go scale-wise. I don't like to go in intervals. I don't like playing ideas in intervals unless I get way back down to the bottom and then I might mess around with that a little bit. I just extended what I was doing by quite a bit as far as how long my lips were vibrating. I'm getting more and more warmed up as I do this. Things are starting to burn in, relaxation, the, the right amount of air support. All of the things that I'm trying to control are now starting to be engaged. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, I mean that sounds real good to me. Feels super easy. No, no drama. <laughs> Feels relaxed. Now I just kind of pressed on the gas a little bit there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I will think about and assess how things felt, what I may need to do as I ascend now. I'm starting to get into a more challenging register. <laughs> So the F is not really ready to speak yet. Not at least the way I'm approaching it. I feel like I might be too open. So now I have to make some adjustments as I go up. I have to try and set my embouchure in a manner that's like allowing me to go into that register properly. So what do I need to do? For me, it's tongue position, that vocal kind of thing, and it's air support. I need to engage. It's time to, okay, I'm out of bed. I've had my cup of coffee. It's time to put the clothes on and start to move. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's better. Now that I've gotten up there, I'm probably going to start higher because I want to I want to check out that register a little bit more and uh, see if I can burn that in a little bit better. Get a little bit more focus in the upper register. So I'm just going to take it up an octave. Yeah, yeah, things feel good. Things feel real good. I took my time to get there. I didn't rush anything. It's like most things in life. If you take your time and do it right, the fruits of your labor, though it may seem slow, turn out to provide a better taste. So, take your time with things. And in under 15 minutes, I'm totally ready to go. The rest of the day is it's going to be all good. I mean, pretty much everything's there. Everything's ready to go. That's how I warm up. I take my time. I make sure things feel good. And I do this every time I pick up my horn. I start in the same place. Hope this helps. Take it easy, kids.